I wanted to make like my own idea of what Sisu means because it was so windy where we shot. Everything was hard to do on the set. Even to have some smoke in a shot, it's pretty hard. And all the explosions, basically, that, that, that was a challenge too, because when you have an explosion, it basically vanishes, because the wind is so hard. It was clear to me when I wrote Sisu that I have to shoot it somewhere where there's no trees, like a wasteland kind of desert. Basically, you don't even have a places to hide, open space everywhere like a Western kind of scenery. We looked for something that wasn't really kind of the, the Lapland we're used to in Finland. Instead, we were looking for this uh, open landscape and we found this as north that you can get before you get in, into the Arctic Ocean. Nuorgam is the most north place in, in Finland. It's really, really breathtaking. It, it was clear to me immediately that this is going to be the place, even though it was really hard place to shoot. And action! Lapland is not made for movie making. All the surroundings are beautiful. It looks stunning on camera, but if you're planning on going here and film, please, please bring all the walls for wind, all the umbrellas for rain, all the wool underwear for for cold it's a lot cold than a brick is used to being and for half the movie i've got my shirt off so that was difficult the wind up on one of the mountains was 60 mile an hour at one point can't really think because uh, the wind is so loud the humming noise in your ears can't really <laughs> can't really hear your own thoughts. It's kind of almost shooting in Sahara when you when you get all this sand coming into the the, uh, the cast eyes, the, the crew, technical uh, equipment, especially cameras. It was so windy in some days that even the helmets of, of from the Nazi soldiers, they <laughs> like flew off from the head. It was of course nicer to me because I had like a ski mask and, and uh, safety goggles and, and a hood and a lot of clothes, but, but the actors didn't have that luxury. <laughs> because Jorma is over 60 years old, he had to think, like, can I do it? It's so physical and the, all the shit he went through during the shootings, like always outside in the really, really bad weather. Finish it. Ensimmäinen ajatus oli, että pystynkö siihen. Kyllä, mä tulin siihen tulokseen, että Kyllä mä siihen pystyn. No, niin kuin sanoin jo aikaisemmin, että tämä on aika fyysinen ja, ja, ja ainakin niin kuin, siinä mielessä niin aloitin niin kuin, tota, treenaamaan fyysisesti. Jos vaikeuksista puhutaan, niin tietysti nämä niin kuin ilmastolliset olosuhteet on, on tota, arvaamattomat. Nel, monella, monella tapaa on, on niin kuin luon arvaamattomia tilanteita tuolla. Ja. Se ehkä tässä on ollut päällimmäisenä, että on tavallaan joutunut senkin takia tekemään paljon fyysistä, enemmän semmoista fyysistä työtä. Kuvausten hetkellä niin, niin, niin kuin lämpimänä, ettei jäykisty ja, ja tota, niin kyl, kylmene sinne, että pystyy jotain ilmaisemaankin. Jorma went through a lot of coldness standing in really freezing cold weather in water, sat there for, for a long time. He stood up somehow by just really concentrating on the physical part of his, his, his acting. Jorma is like a method actor. He needs a challenging environment when he's doing this kind of film. If things are too nice, 
there's not enough energy to do well his role. Shooting the plane sequence, even though we were in the studio, it was really hard. That was the most difficult scene to make because we had shots inside and outside the plane. The airplane sequence, obviously that's not the cheapest sequence you might have in a film, so you need to plan it out really well. Laying out scenes started in storyboarding stage, so we wanted to find kind of what is the optimal amount of shots that you need to tell the story. And Yalmari, of course, he had a pretty good idea of what shots he wants, and then just cutting that storyboard into kind of a stopomatic, such as to see whether it's cutting together nicely. And from there on, it goes to really simple 3D setups to just plot out the camera placement and camera motions. What was an absolutely fantastic thing is they had on set, they had the actual hull of that airplane. That was kind of the wreckage of a similar kind of airplane. We brought it to our studio and it was rigged hanging from the ceiling and then we had a green screen around the plane. That was very difficult rigging and it was a little bit dangerous also. That was really technical stuff. All the rigging and stuff, how to rig Artemi to the belly of the plane, how we can move him. When the photography was wrapped, we cleared the cables and basically replaced the plane for most part with a VFX double of that plane with wings and propellers. The plane was a big challenge. You need to make it look super cool and you need to have a great design and putting it to a place where it's supposed to be flying. I needed to have that kind of action and that kind of kills. You just have to be inventive to stand out from from all the other action films which are way bigger. Entertainment. Fujimi no Toko.